pandemics hit us all and it's so easy to focus on the negative things and today is all about just keeping things positive. How has it made you better as a coach, as a leader, and as a Sandler sales consultant? What's, what's it done to improve your, your business and you, know, you as a leader? Well, I, I love the question, Coop, and I haven't been asked that, but, but you know, there's a couple of things that come to mind. I think you know, one of the first things that I did earlier, Sandler was offered, we have, we have a partner that does assessments, behavioral assessments. And they created one for dealing um, uh, in times of stress. It was, it was created very quickly. Um, so I did that early on. I want to say around March 25th, I'll say I did it. Mm -hmm. And in that assessment, it was, um, it was clear that I sometimes chase the shiny ball, you know, the newest opportunity. And it was a very, when I got that report, I saw that it was, right now we cannot chase shiny balls. We have to stay in the system. And I am, I am that, you know, um, if, if anybody knows D, uh, disc, I'm a high D or, you know, high D with some I, so I could be all over the place, but it was a real eye opener that we have to be very focused on just a few things that will drive results. The other thing that we really went back to was, well, we gave back a lot and we've been giving back a lot. Uh, to folks. So, so make sure we were, we were giving back. Sandler did an amazing job there, continues to do that. Um, but we really peeled back two things with our clients. One was it became evident that it's more important today to follow the processes, the tactics, methodologies that we're teaching than ever before. What you were getting away with in, in January and December and still winning some deals is not going to fly there it, it just will not fly because people are worried about their roi they're more selective about what they're going to do so if you weren't if you weren't asking great questions or setting great upfront contracts in january you will lose business because of that so we got really diligent we've been very diligent diligent about making sure people are following what we teach the second thing is understanding your sales process and uh, Patrick brought it up earlier, that idea of what's a good opportunity versus what isn't. We've been spending hours with prospects in making sure they have good templates to identify what's good and what's not good. Where should I hit the gas? Where should I hit the brakes? Because again, what you got away with six months ago is not going to fly any longer. There's not enough opportunity. And when you create that opportunity, Today, you want to make sure you're working on the right um, things in your pipeline.